Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head. Wish that I could let you go. Remember all we had. How could we get this bad? Where did we lose our clothes? Hey, what's up, friends? Moses here from Driver Success. Hope you guys are doing well. My first load today is off the yard here in Hazlet and I'm heading to Arlington and then from there I have a pickup from Dallas and then bring it back here to the rail in Hazlet. of the things that I'm noticing is that we do have a lot of reefer containers on the yard right now. We didn't have this many containers before. to my uh, first stop I'm gonna go check in uh, one of the things that I love to do and I encourage you guys to do is to listen to like podcasts there are many podcasts uh, in different uh, that you can listen to um, and they're in different like genres whatever you want to listen to if you want maybe like say comedy business podcast the news Polit politics, um, science, anything that you want to listen to, you can find a podcast out there that will, will kind of um, get your interest. And uh, There is this one podcast I want to recommend that you guys listen to, but let me first check in. I'm packed right there. They want me to put it in dot 28 and take the empty in dot 27. So for new drivers, this shouldn't be a very hard uh, thing to back into. All you do is you just make a U-turn there, come all the way as close as possible there. And then that's dot 28 where I'm going to back into. You just kind of just wiggle it all the way and go straight there. And then you have a straight back in. I'm supposed to move my tandems all the way to the back but usually what I do I just pull out the pin I just pull out the pin I'm used to backing in with my tandems to the front so if the customer will let me do that all I do is I first get into the door and then when I'm at the door that's when I slide my tandems but some customers here will will not let you even come inside the facility until you've slid your tandems all the way to the back. If that's the case, then you have no uh, option. But whenever possible, personally, when I'm backing in, I want my tandems to the front because I'm used to that. I've, I, that's what I've been used to doing almost my entire uh, trucking career. So uh, if the customer wants me to slide my tandems, usually I first back up and then when I'm straight in the dock, that's when I slide them. Laying in your bed Fighting ghosts in my head 
wish that I could let you go Remember all we had How could we get this bad? Where did we lose our So you remember when I told you I'm going to come in as close as possible to this gate right here so that I can be able to swing it and go up there. Well, one of the things that you have to be careful about when, especially when you just start out, is to be very sensitive about certain things. Uh, one of those things is a trailer swing. Because I had my tandems all the way to the front, one of the places I, I had to be careful about is when you look here this place is really close and so if you you make a turn real quick your trailer can hit that gate and if you look at this gate somebody already hit that gate probably doing the same thing so you don't want to be very close because if you are close here and you swing very um, early that means your trailer is going to swipe that gate I want to guess that's what happened to whoever did that or somebody else I don't know what happened with this guy here you can see there are some tire marks right there so every time you have your your tandems to the front always remember to take note of um, of your trailer especially when you're gonna make like a u-turn or a sharp turn that trailer can can hit something if you are close to it always remember when your tandems uh, are in the front you're gonna have your trailer swing in the back so make sure you have enough space to clear the back when your tandems are all the way to the back then you won't have um, your trailer won't swing that much you see like now these tandems right here they are to the back you don't have to worry so much about that trailer swing but when the <coughs> excuse me when those tandems are to the front you're gonna have a swing and so when I was coming in I had to be careful about that gate to make sure that when I swing to go way out there I don't hit that gate Laying in your bed, fighting ghosts in my head, wish that I could let you go. Remember all we had, how could we get this bad? Where did we lose our at my uh, next pickup now the way this customer works is when we go check in they let us know uh, which trailer we are going we are going to be taking and then we drop our empty hook up to our um, load take it out of the door put it somewhere come back hook up to the empty and then put it in the door and then hook up to our load and then we go the last time I was here I found a driver who was already waiting on a load they had scheduled two loads, but they ended up canceling one load. 
so which meant uh, they cancelled my load. So today I came in, again there is another driver, I don't know if you guys can see him, uh, there's another driver right there in front, uh, which means they may uh, be cancelling my load, I'm not sure. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go check in before I think of unhooking from this uh, trailer and see if they have a load for me. So that driver is here before me, which means that uh, unless they have two loads, my load may cancel. We'll see. So yeah, they have a load for me, but I just have to wait for it. They're still loading it up. As soon as they're done loading it up, they will give me a call and then I can do the swap. So right now, all I'm going to do for now is just drop this trailer so that when they call me, I just pull the other one out and do my swap. The only thing is it's eating into my time because this is a drop and hook. It's not like a live, they don't regard it as a live load. But at least there is a load for me. I was still telling you guys about uh, the podcast. Um, I didn't forget about that. Um, there is this podcast I listen to. It's called The Daily. I think that's the name, The Daily. I'm going to put a link under the description. But there is a specific episode that I'm going to link to that I want you guys to listen to. And I'm not gonna tell you the story to, because that would spoil it. What I really want you to think about as you listen to it is, um, this lady, Shannon, had worked at um, this particular, I think it was uh, a car manufacturing plant for 18 years. And then all of a sudden things changed for her. So my question to you or what I want you to think about as you listen to to the episode is what if something was to change in your life uh, say for example if you're a truck if you're a truck driver currently what if your CDL uh, was taken away from you what if you lost your job um, if you are a driver I mean uh, somebody in another industry whatever that industry is what if you lost your job or something happened where you lost your income what would you do? I listened to this episode uh, last year um, because it came out last year towards um, the end of last year and it really really uh, got me thinking so I just thought uh, when I remembered that I just thought I should let you guys know about it and um, I would want to know what you guys think about it also if you guys have uh, some um, uh, podcasts that you love listening to I would really love to hear what those are. Or if you have any audio books uh, that you guys listen to, um, I would love to know what your recommendations are. I love, because we do a lot of driving, right? So I love listening to stuff that really uh, inspires me, motivates me, or makes me laugh, or makes me think. So if you guys have any recommendations, leave them in the comment section below.